Hi guys, welcome back to the shop and today we are unboxing my new tool and um, today I have the Charmwood B Thrifty uh, bandsaw that I treated myself to and um, the last couple of months I've been really busy doing um, Christmas fairs and stuff and getting ready for doing that and um, I've done pretty well over the last couple of um, markets and stuff so with the money from that I've restocked um, everything that I need to for the, for the markets and I've got a little bit of money left over so I treated myself to a new bandsaw. So in my older videos you would have seen uh, the little bandsaw that used to live up here. Um, I have sold that on to an upcoming starting woodworker, young guy. And hopefully he'll get some, uh, he'll get some good use out of it before he trades up. Um, but today what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this thing, we're going to put it together, set it up and we're going to see what, it's, what it cuts like. So I enjoy, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now it is worth noting that this box weighs an absolute ton. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my tent weights as rollers to help move that box to the back of the workshop when I've got a bit more room to undo the unboxing. Okay, so <coughs> first part out is the, is the table, and it's properly heavy, and it's big, it's bigger than I was expecting. Um, it's 21 and a half inches by 20 and a quarter inches, and it's fairly weighty. Oh, it's going to be fun to fit. Okay, so <coughs> while we're unpacking the rest, I'm just going to open this up. Coming in that machine and take that out. And then we're gonna put some cleaner on it. And we'll just leave that to settle. Okay, so this is the first look at the band so it's upside down at the moment, but it gives you an idea of the size of this thing. It's really big. I wasn't I knew it was gonna be a big one, but you're not really prepared for that. Considering my old little bandsaw was literally that size, the whole thing. And there's all this. It's 
massive. I've now somehow got to get that onto that so I can attach that and then move it all there next to the drill press. So this should be fun. That's staying in the video, yeah? <laughs> right, let's fit that bit. So it was about here that I realised that pre-assembling the, the base was a big mistake. It's much easier to put the legs onto the bottom of the band and then put the braces on later. Um, so don't pay attention to the instruction books. Do what I've done much, much easier. This table weighs an absolute ton, so getting that onto the um, the mechanism for tilting and getting the bolt holes lined up was a mammoth task. It was really hard work. If you've got somebody else who can help you out with this bit, you know, use them because it's uh, it wasn't easy. Okay, so table is set at zero. So we're just going to see how close to, to 90 that is actually sitting with the blade. There's a bit of a gap. I'll just raise the camera a bit. You see that? So what we'll do is we'll just adjust the table bed now. We'll see if we can get that zeroed in a little bit better. So underneath the table is this. Yeah, what size is that? What's that? What's that? There's this bolt here. And what I can do is I can just bed a little bit like that I'm just gonna adjust that up a little bit more like that then we'll drop that down and we'll test again still needs a little bit more on now so that's now flat so now I'll just need to adjust the scale a little bit as well to match
Now I found a, a I'm wasting my time here setting up the fence. What I should have done was just clamp the, the fence down onto the rail at the zero park and then move the whole assembly over till it touched the blade to give me where absolute zero was. Um, messing around like I did was a bit of a waste of time really. That's what I ended up doing actually in the end, um, off camera, just to get it set up properly. Okay, so that's it. She's all built. She's all ready to go. So what I'll do now is I'll just go through some of the uh, the features on the the bandsaw, and then we'll talk about why I bought this particular one. And uh, we'll do our first cut. Okay, so we've got a, a fairly decent enough um, fence system here. Um, the fence itself is a bit light, for my own opinion. Um, only really taking that into um, comparing it to the one on my table saw, but it is adequate for its use. Um, how accurate it is, I'll need to dial this thing in a little bit more later on. Um, the rail itself sits on top of a really nice cast iron um, machine flat bed, um, which is nice because the one I had previously was uh, plastic and then I ended up with a wooden one which bowed. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to do the job. Okay, so these are the two upper bearings, and they're adjusted by releasing these quick release no um, knobs here. And you can do the blade, the, the bearings seem to be set up already. Um, so we'll see how it goes first of all. We might need to do a bit of tuning on that later on. Uh, so there's two big bearings there, and there's a thrust bearing at the back, and it's the same configuration down below. But they're nice big there. Um, they are closed off bearings, so they are bearings for life. Um, so they seem to turn really well as well. There's no play in them. So we'll see how that goes. I'll just move you around now to the back of the saw. Okay, so at the back of the saw, we have our um, tracker for tracking the blade so it stays on the wheel. And we've also got a quick release handle here. Just for changing the blade so that's tensioned and that's slack and I can change to put the new blade on and I can put that on I'll just make sure the wheel doesn't come off so that's good a little tool rack on the back here for the uh, for the different allen keys and the spanner as I said that's the tracking um, and then we have this flexible light <coughs> Which is a nice touch considering my garage is really poor and lighted. Down here at the bottom of the saw is the dust extractor. And that's got different sized ports on it as well, so you can just do it straight to your, your shop vac or you can do your big one, which is um, probably what I'll end up using. Um, and there's the big, the big motor, it is uh, 1100 watts, um, 5 amp, so that should do more than enough power for what I intend to use it for um, so do you know what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a bit of wood and we'll, we'll have a go of our first cut shall we okay let's uh, let's fire it up and let's see what the first cut goes like just a piece of scrap pine for this one keep it nice and simple to start with well, the first time I pressed the switch to start the band so nothing happened is because the uh, the safety feature that's um, a switch at the top door um, wasn't set up properly there's a little bit of metal that presses the switch in when you close the door that piece of metal needed adjusting with two screws I had to do that mine didn't work the first time I pressed it nothing happened I was horrified Like butter, as you would expect with a brand new blade. Let's have a look at the. Uh, there's very little marks on that one. So what we'll do now is we'll just put a line down this from the edge, and we'll see how accurate it cuts. Right, so a nice sharp pencil, and we'll just do a um, no, line down there. Let's 
see what it does. Just our fence over it. We'll lock it down. Let's see how she cuts. And when I made this cut, it stayed true to the line which showed that the fence was set up properly, but I also had very little um, blade drift as well, something that my old band saw was really bad for doing. Um, but this one seemed to stick right on the line just as it should. Really impressed by that. Especially considering I hadn't tuned it. And she's cut really well. Hmm. Should we do some curves and see what that goes like? My old little band so used to struggle with that one, so that's gone through it like no problem. And a nice, a nice radius as well. My old band so wouldn't do that, and it had a smaller blade on it. Let's just show you the, you get what you pay for, I suppose. Okay, so for this one, I have tilted the table to a 45 degree, and I've moved the fence over, swapped it around to the other side. Just another piece of scrap pine. I'm also going to use a second piece of scrap pine as a push stick. I want to do a 45 degree cut through this one. Something I couldn't do on my old tables, on my old band saw, it didn't have that capacity. Um, so I'm interested to see how this one works. So we'll just, uh, where is it? Drop that down a bit and we'll give this a go. Nice 45 degree cut, absolutely no bother at all. Oh, I should have got one of these years ago, I think I'll be using this tool a lot. Okay guys that's it for that one, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, not quite sure how it's going to turn out but hopefully it'll be alright. Um, the bandsaw is an amazing tool, I was very disappointed with the very first bandsaw I ever bought, it was very small, it was lightweight, didn't do great on the cut, very shallow depth of cut, not very, not a very big throat. That thing is a beast. There's no other word for it. It's an absolute beast. It's really, really heavy and it cuts through wood like butter. I suppose you would expect with a brand new blade in as well. Um, but from out the box, I have done no tuning to that at all. The fence system seems to be really straight. The bearings seem to be set up just as they should as is the belt tension you can unplug this from the box set it up with on the stand plug it in and start cutting which is really really good normally you've got to do a lot of fiddling around so i've been really impressed by that and um, the fence as i said is square the table was the only thing i had to adjust 
um, it was off a little bit so a quick two minutes it took to adjust that and then adjust the scale underneath and away we went um, dust collection is very good when you hook it up to the uh, the one horsepower dust collector it seems to do the job because bandsaws can be a really dusty tool um, so I'm really really pleased with it why did I go for this one? Again, just like the lathe, it comes down to availability, shipping and cost. I had a budget that I got from the markets and stuff over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I knew where I wanted to go. I got a good deal with these guys. Again, this is from McQuillan's Tools. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below of where I got that from. Um, and I got a nice deal off them. They were doing a 10% discount at the time that I was ready to buy the, the saw, which is just great timing. Um, I will leave it in the description down below as well. I'll leave all the technical information about the band saw. I'll leave a link of where you can buy it if you're in Ireland. I'm not sure if they do shipping worldwide. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing some nice band saw boxes. Um, we'll do some videos on those as well. Uh, anyway, guys, I will love you and leave you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you later. Bye.